Welcome to another episode of Software Comparisons. It's Blender's Grease Pencil pitted against TV Paint. Let's see who takes the cake. Even though Grease Pencil is primarily marketed for 2D animation, don't be fooled by this pretender, as it remains an object in a 3D software, and it behaves as such. While TV Paint is much more traditional in its approach, and we mean that literally, its primary function is to simulate traditional animation in all of its aspects, including the visuals, while still streamlining and modernizing the process as much as possible. So how do they work? Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We've got you guys this course from Skillshare about hand-drawn animation using the software TV Paint. The course is made for full beginners, and it is taught by Melanie DeMonte, who will show you the process of making 2D traditional animations. The course includes various topics, such as the basic tools of TV Paint, building a character, animation, and more. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses, and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. Alright, now, back to the video! As stated, Grease Pencil is a Blender 3D object that is accessible through a simple right-click menu. Even though it's considered an object, it's also a lot more involved in the number of unique manipulations it has available. Much like any other 3D object, it's composed of a series of points that save the properties and coordinates of our subject matter. These points are linked through edit lines, which means that whenever you make a stroke with the brush-like tool you are given in draw mode, you're essentially creating a pre-rigged puppet animation model that you can mess up to your heart's content through other means, such as sculpt mode, which for those who are not familiar with, it's the equivalent of using a liquify tool in other art programs. You can be definitely more precise in manipulating your lines through the regular edit mode or let technology do the hard work with weight paint, which gives your 2D work all the properties of a standard 3D model, making it susceptible to physics and light engines. So, in simpler terms, you get all the benefits and complications that come from working with 3D software, while to a certain extent retaining the workflow of its 2D counterparts. This benefits the concept art and storyboarding fields most, since Blender as a program was never built with high-budget movie quality productions in mind, although capable of that. But it was made to be as accessible as possible, even to those of us with hardware that is more limited in computing power. Grease Pencil's primary function remains 2D animation, specifically the blend of CGI and traditional animation which isn't as novel as you would expect, actually, since software like Deep Canvas have existed since the 90s to serve this express purpose. To make this happen, Grease Pencil has provided us with everything you might need, including a timeline equipped with adjustable onion skinning and many different brushes that simulate different painting materials, among other things, of course. But perhaps the best part about all of this is the fact that this tool comes embedded in the default install of an open source program, meaning your wallet won't have to suffer any consequences. TV Paint, on the other hand, has two different versions that vary in functionality depending on the price. The standard version is cheaper, but is also less packed in terms of features. To be honest, one would even say that it's relatively bare bones, in my opinion. What the two versions have in common, however, is the idea of making computer animation look hand-drawn, or to simplify cleaning up actual traditionally hand-drawn animations. It's in the name, after all. You know, TV, paint, you get it. For the interface, this program is more in line with standard animation programs, such as Harmony and Animate. Equipped with a timeline, the basic draw and deform package, onion skinning, and all of the expected stuff, and it does what it says in the package, traditional animation. You have plenty of incredible textured brushes, and you can even customize your own to your heart's content. 
They live among other features that were built exclusively to make your life easier, including but not limited to line stabilizers and a very precise fill bucket tool. Oh my god, the things I do for a good fill bucket tool. Jeez. Anyways, the professional version comes equipped with storyboard and layout tools, color and texture generation, a wider special effects library, audio support to make your lip syncing life easier, and even an image library to store your textures and character sheets for easy access. To sum it up, if the goal of Grease Pencil is to pretend that 3D is 2D, the goal of TV Paint is to pretend that digital is traditional. It mimics the workflow and the aesthetic while significantly streamlining it, bringing it to more of a 21st century standard. Grease Pencil is for sure the harder of the two, but I guess we'll have to elaborate on that. By virtue of being an object in a 3D program, as we have reiterated many times, it's essentially a whole new can of worms that you'll need to open in order to figure it out. The interface is very easy to read and the tools easy to figure out and understand, but the idea of creating convincing 2D drawings in the 3D space can be quite overwhelming and will definitely require getting used to it. It is difficult, but not impossible, of course, as there is not only proof of the quality that can be achieved with this program throughout the internet, Blender movies and such, but also many resources decimated to help flatten the roller coaster slope that is this program's learning curve. As for TV Paint, the best metaphor I have to describe this program is you know how some 2D art programs like Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint have an animation interface? As in, they are art programs that you can animate in. Well, TV Paint is the complete opposite. It's an animation program that you can, for all intents and purposes, illustrate in. So it's actually not that hard to learn and get used to if you come from an illustration background. The standard version is as straightforward as it gets, and the professional version, although more packed, is still as legible. When it comes to Grease Pencil, and if we are talking pros, then the main one is accessibility and price. Blender is free and available on all platforms, so it's only a few clicks away. It also comes with the benefit of being integrated into a 3D software, which can be a lifesaver at points. It can allow you incredibly precise dynamic camera control around a 3D environment while still retaining a relatively traditional animation workflow. Not to mention the many benefits it brings to illustration, concept art, and storyboarding. The only catch is that you have to learn how to use it, which will require quite the investment in terms of time, effort, and patience, especially. Some people's blessings are other people's woes, and, and price is definitely a woe for our pal here, TV Paint, as the standard version is in the 500 USD mark, with the professional version spiking to over 1200 USD. Goodness! But if you can get past that hurdle, it's a very powerful and easy to use program that brings a lot of unique quality of life improvements to the traditional animation workflow. Regardless of its many benefits, however, it's still hard to recommend since the alternatives can achieve similar results while still offering more, either at a similar or even lower price. We can bring up Harmony as an alternative that can even support puppet animation and open tunes that even though is less optimal, is still a reliable to create and clean up traditional and traditional looking animation. So, to sum it up, is it okay to pretend to be something you are not, or work to be whatever you want to be? Wait a minute, I think I mixed up my scripts here. <clears throat> Let me do that again. Grease Pencil is the perfect way of blending CGI with traditional animation, giving you an all-in-one package to create seamless and dynamic shots in a 3D environment while taking advantage of the versatility and the physics and rendering engines available in 3D programs. 
TV Paint, on the other hand, is the quintessential 2D traditional animation software. Equipped with all the tools necessary to optimally scan, clean up, or digitally emulate traditional animation. Blender makes a great addition to anyone's roster, regardless of specialty and by virtue of being a different visual medium and free. While TV Paint's price point paints a less ideal picture, pun intended, this is due to the existence of cheaper alternatives or more complete programs at a similar price point. And that's the end of the comparison. If you made it this far, we would like to thank you for sticking around. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Tell us if there's something you'd like us to cover next. With that being said, thank you for watching as always and see you next time.